Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm playing Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004. It's um, kind of an old copy, but it still works, and it's still fun. So, let's give it a try. So first I press P to unpause. You'll see in the bottom left corner it says press P to continue. You can now hear the engine noise from my little plane. Um, there's a little glitch. You actually can go into sort of third person mode. So like this. So you can see it's a it says um, it's a Cessna C one seven two SP Skyhawk, whatever that is. I mean I know what it is, I've played this game for years, but anyway. So then you can switch back. There's this little glitch when you try to switch into that next mode, it doesn't work. And you have to exit and restart. I mean, not restart, just get out of it and go back in. And then it works just fine until you try it again. It's kind of irritating, but I mean, honestly. So, let's press period to get rid of our parking brakes. You'll see in the bottom left corner. <coughs> so, no, those are gone. And our only obstacle to success is, well, turning on the throttle. So, let's do that. And here's another one of those glitches. I better do that. See, now we're moving along the runway. Our airspeed indicator is moving up. And once it reaches 55, let's lift off. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, this is the airspeed indicator right here. And it's measured in knots. Also, by the way, this is my favorite method of flight right here with the, uh, just the six essential instruments. So, this is airspeed indicator, turn coordinator, attitude indicator, heading, alti altimeter, and vertical speed. That's how fast you're ascending or descending. And this tells you if you're pointing up or down, basically. This thing. It's probably the most helpful of all of them. Because if that little thing is right on the line, you know you're going exactly straight. Straight and level flight, they call it. So that's Seattle over there. So let's fly over there. Come on, come on. This is one of the slower planes. There are a ton. You can fly everything from the first plane ever flown to, um, to a Boeing 7... 57? No, 777. 747. Just basically a lot of planes. And there are a few expansion packs you can get for it. Um, I I have one actually, but it doesn't work on this computer. Um, see, you'll see over here, it's another one of me. Kind of. They're flying the same plane. And I'll get into air traffic control later, but... See that you can tune Seattle approach, whatever. So it's basically a selection system, and you get static if you try to broadcast while someone else is. So I'll acknowledge my squawk code, 2664. Alright, I'm not going to create or open an IFR flight plan because that'll put you back at the starting airport. And you can fly from any airport to any airport. It's a completely open world. Nowhere you can't fly. I mean, underground you can't fly, but I mean that doesn't count because there's no even worlds for the ground. The air traffic control thing gets really annoying. Shouldn't have turned it on. But, I mean, it is more realistic this way, so... See, I'm, I'm flying toward downtown... Oh, flying toward downtown Seattle. Um, I think. Yeah. 
Cause that's the um, that's the sp I can't believe I forgot what it's called. Space needle. There we go. Space needle. The space needle's right over there. So let's just go buzz the space needle. Um, I thought about that, and I would like to pretend that I never said that. Just kidding, of course. I'm just gonna fly by it, just wave to all the people. Well, I mean, you can't actually wave, but I'll sort of just pretend to wave. You know what I mean. So, flying, I'm flying, I'm flying some more. And this is actually a pretty old game, but they I think they've released the 2013 version, which I'm sure has much better graphics, more planes, blah blah blah. But I don't have it. I can play this version now, which is really cool, this version. So, you can sort of see the Space Needle right there, maybe, just a little bit. Oh, well, FPS drop. Normally this has perfect FPS, no lag whatsoever. Sometimes it freezes for a little bit, but it'll immediately let you regain control. I guess I guess it has to, because, you know, being a simulator, you don't want to have a break in simulation. You know, I'm just gonna shut up and let guys enjoy the view. So, if I press W again, I'll have to quit out of it, but it's sort of like F1 mode in Minecraft. You can just do whatever you want. It's scenic mode, sort of. It just takes away the heads-up display. I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the view as we approach downtown Seattle. sound you hear. So you can obviously see the Space Needle right there. And that's the museum. I've been I went to Seattle once. It was nice. But I'm just gonna kinda dive down and fly right next to the Space Needle. That down there is a science museum. No, never mind. It's over there. That's some kind of thing designed to look like a guitar. It doesn't, but it's designed to look like it. See? Oh, I'm over speed. You can see in the corner. Whoa. Yeah! Yeah! No. No. Ugh. Sometimes it's fun to crash. Like this! No, no, no. Not there. Not there. Must crash on road. As you can see, I've got it on uh, God mode, kind of. There's a sort of God mode that you can enable. I do this because I'm not such a good virtual pilot. Of course, I'm probably an even worse IRL pilot, so no comment. I'm just going to land, actually no, no, I'm going to do this the good way. I want options. The option. Okay, there we go. Nearest airport list. Um, I want to land at Boeing Field, and we'll tune their tower, and let's request a full stop. Roger that. Sorry, I like adding in my own little... Ooh. Actually, there are some planes on here that you can't fly. They're just models that fly. Like, there's one of them up there, the McDonnell Douglas thingy. Also, I don't know where the Boeing thing is. I'm familiar with the area. Request directions to the airport. 10 o'clock. Oh, it's probably that one. 
Wait, did they say four miles? I'll ask again. It's this one, probably. Let's see if they say it's at 12 o'clock now. Yeah, it's gotta be this one. Surely. So, let's see. Alright, which one is 31R? I kinda need to know. Because it'd be very helpful if I knew which runway to land on. I usually don't worry about things like that. I mean, it is a simulation, but if you're playing multiplayer, I guess you might want to worry about that. By the way, there is a multiplayer function on this, but I'm I'm playing the single player because I don't know anyone else who has this. And you can't, and it's not hot seat multiplayer. It's the actual internet LAN kind. I actually, it's not even LAN, it's like real multiplayer. It's actually quite nice. But I've never actually played multiplayer on this. Um, Alright. Uh, oops, this is 13R. Meh, close enough. <laughs> uh, it's close enough. I'm just gonna go back into this mode so we can see what's happening. And actually, I kinda wanna go into this mode. Oops. Right, so use the hat switch to t go. Alright, I acknowledge that I'm being handed off to the ground crew. Ground crew, I don't even know what I'm saying. Alright, tune bow and ground. There's a, a a more complicated version where you can um, where you have to actually like tune the radio yourself. You don't just press the button. All right, I want to taxi to parking. Taxi to parking. Make me taxi to parking. Ginger. I acknowledge my taxi clearance, and also, I acknowledge that I'm never going to get there without Progressive Taxi. Progressive Taxi is these little purple arrows. What the heck? Little glitches like that happen sometimes when I'm using the rudder to turn on the ground. So, I'm just going to... By the way, it's completely open world. You can go anywhere. So you'll never get blocked from anywhere. Though, if you fly to the poles, there's kind of a weird glitch, but I may show you that later, if I can manage to get to parking before my 15 minutes are up. <laughs> I just don't have enough subscribers or whatever it is to be able to post longer than 15 minutes. I have, I think, two minutes to get to parking. So, where's the, alright, vroom vroom, Let's full throttle, ramming speed, whatever you want to call it, and see how the arrows are trying to get me back there? Well, they're still going this way, so once I hit those arrows, they'll join up and it'll stop doing that ridiculous thing that it's doing. See, look, hope is a caution the departing Boeing 737. Oh right, there is a Got it. Whatever. No, no, turn on my progressive taxi more. No, no, I refuse to hold my position. I am, I am a proud little Cessna. I'm not, I'm gonna stand up to that Boeing. I'm not gonna. No, no, I'm, I'm saying no. I'm gonna stand up to that big mean Boeing. No, I'm just kidding. Um, ah, good, good. I'm I'm kind of getting out of control here. Well, um, okay, continue taxi. Yeah, I've been continuing taxi this entire time. Does it really matter? Ugh, brakes and turn turn helps. Oops. Right. So this has been um this has been flight simulator. Bye.